Welcome to the games room. Join me, Bestish B, in this new three-phase series as we start with the creation of my new games room, the eventual full tour, followed by the individual episodes as we take a look at each section in detail. So I hope you'll come along for the ride. This is phase one, under construction. Hey, Bastish BF for 64K and welcome to episode number 8 of the Games Room Under Construction. So things are starting to come together even more so. A lot of details are getting filled in now. Finally got my magazine rack, you'll see it in this episode. So get out my retro gamers and stuff. The Nintendo section, which I really didn't like. It felt really clunky. I've redone it in this episode. So you'll see that. I think it looks way better. I also set up a whole lot of my handheld stuff, finally get those out of those boxes so we're moving along pretty pretty rapidly here now so let's jump on over and take a look at this episode's updates the following took place between march 12th and march 29th so i've been out all morning picking up stuff i uh, finally got a bit of spare cash uh, i've picked up some cupboards from these kind of stand things from a facebook marketplace deal i just got that I went to a place called Canadian Tire. If you live in Canada, you know what it is. Like a hardware, furniture, just a bit of everything kind of shop. And I got some of the cupboards, the shelving things that I need. So this whole main area here, it's going to be almost fully furnished. After I put all this stuff together. So I'll show you all that and we'll go through it. I'm going to show you now where I'm going to put this stuff and hopefully everything fits because I didn't bother measuring anything I just usually just go on my gut instinct which always seems to work <laughs> so let's check it out okay so this is the thing I just picked up from Facebook marketplace it's like a CD kind of case thing the holder anyway I'll show you here uh, have a this. so that's the idea so there's a lot of shelves here I am going to put this thing over there. See that little place there? I haven't measured it exactly, but it's going to fit there. So that area will be finally full. I'm thinking it's probably going to put handheld games there. I'm not 100% sure. Once it's up and in place, I'll decide. So those are the boxes I'm trying to get rid of now. Like unpack, those are the final main boxes left. Not including my massive tubs, I've got another five tubs of big box PC games, but you know, I'll try and put those at various other places as much as I can. But a lot of that's not going to go up, unfortunately. Those are my favorites anyway, so whatever. But yeah, and here are the other things. So I got another one of those cupboards, which are those ones there. So that's how big it actually is. It's that one. See, I got two of them there. That takes care of all my Commodore 64 stuff. So that's one of them there. And then I got a one that's like a half size. So that'll be on the end. I'll show you exactly where I put it. So half size, it should be, I don't know, roughly about to there, that piece, which is perfect. So these two are gonna go over here. Let me show you. And as you can see, those are all my Xbox 360 original PS2, PS1 games. And you can see it's overflowing at the top there. This needs to be sorted out. So that other cupboard is going to go over there. I hope it fits. It should be about that high. It should go like there. It should go something like that. And then that smaller one should be half size. It should go around about there. Bear in mind, I haven't measured any of this, but to me it looks like it's going to work. So, I guess we're going to find out. Let's start putting this thing together. just cleaned it all up and it looks pretty good now 
sitting really nicely here. Probably going to put handheld games on there, I'm thinking. Or I'm just going to have a look at those boxes over there now. Look at all those wet wipes. Wow. Thanks, Trinity, for helping. You're welcome. <laughs> So this is the next day, I've got a lot of things put up, as you can see over there, that's one of the smaller cabinets I've just put together, put that together yesterday, and I'll show you some other stuff over here, and I'm busy putting together the big one just over there, I'll show you that now. And here's yes, the one I bought off Facebook Marketplace, uh, I put all my handheld games on there, so it looks pretty damn cool now, it's all of them. Uh, 3DS and DS stuff, as a special editions. All the way down to there is a couple Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games in there, not many. I've only got a couple. And these are all PSP games all over there. I've also got Vita games. I'm probably going to put the Vita games at the bottom there when I find them. They're in another little box. But uh, overall, I think they look super cool. And here's the other little one I just built. So that's going to go in just a little bit. About probably there. The big one is going to come out about here somewhere. It's going to go there. That's it there. I'm busy building it. That's the top half. I'm almost finished with that. That's the back of it obviously. And I've got all the other pieces there. I'm going to slap that together and put it there. Probably move this just in a little bit which is cool. So then when you come around that corner you're not having that thing jutting out there. There's a lot more space, even though there's tons of space, you know, it's nice to have it just a little bit in. And then I'm going to be moving, like I said the other day, a whole lot of those Xbox and PS1 and PS2 games, sort that out, spread them out onto there a little bit. And then I got those boxes still to go to unpack. And those Super Famicom games, those all original, you know, classic boxes. Oh yeah, there's the PS Vita games, i put those there. And here's what the new ones look like now, pushed together. Looking pretty good. Got a little bit of space there, I might put something there. Not really sure. practice setup as you can see maybe a little bit of space wasted there <laughs> she had some fun anyway this is the ps2 collection like I'm trying to move it across just a little bit so I got more space for all those 360 games to spread out over there and then uh, without ever space I got left over here I can fill out the rest he has all the PS2, Japanese PS2, my pitiful PS3 collection. Those are kind of like mech games and uh, like inside vehicles. Pile of strategy games there. This is Star Wars games. And then it gets starts to go really mental. <laughs> this is like action games. These two piles just millions of them as you can see 
just a crazy amount. Anyway, that's racing games, all down there. These are fighting games, all these ones. And sports games, some more action games, more action games. Two big piles of RPGs, compilations, running guns, uh, first person shooters, all those. And the pile just fell down, awesome. So this place is starting to look like an absolute dump. As you can see, just stuff everywhere. I'm kind of spreading out the PS2 games now as you can see. I've got all the PS2 games spread out so I found some big box sets I'll be displaying those nicely so those are all extra those are PS2 those are Japanese PS1 and those are English PS1 they're all into sections now and I've got those two empty and those are all PS2 stuff and I've also got space as you can see so I can add to the collection I've got space all over so which is good and uh, now I've got to tackle this big chunk over here, this is the Xbox original and 360 stuff. So I think I'm going to try and fit the Xbox original stuff here. I'm not sure if it's going to work. I think those are all Xbox original, all of that. So it's not going to be enough space. I might, uh, I might just leave those there and then just spread these out over here. Yeah. I think that's probably the best bet. Yeah, we're stuck in the corner here. We've kind of worked ourselves in so we can't move. We've just got so many games everywhere. Look at all these. We're trying to sort the original Xbox. Hey, get that out of the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and these are like racing games I'm busy sorting right now. I just did all the, uh, all the first person shooters. And these are all fighting games, I've sorted those. I'm busy sorting out all the racing ones here quickly. Okay, so I've got most of the Xbox 360 and original stuff. I at least got them all sorted out. So they're in sections now. So it's easy to find stuff. Hi. Hi. It's more stuff. More stuff. More stuff. And more stuff, RPGs, and some stuff there, racing games. Okay, this is later at night of the same day. Finally, we got this whole section done. It took a whole day to do everything. That stuff's not going to be there, it's just there for now. But it's kind of hard to get an angle on this because of the wall over there, so I can't really shoot it from that angle. Anyway. I put a whole lot of box stuff up there, um, special edition things and boxes of consoles. And down here, so see all those Genesis games, I've already got my Genesis games there. Those, what those are, are loose cartridges, and I hate having loose cartridges. So I just got universal boxes and printed some covers, so those are technically loose games. There's a loose Famicom as well. I put some boxes and those are loose ones. There's a few loose ones there you can see. And here, let me show you closer. And I picked up this game. Super cheap. Uh, 10 bucks. I want to play it. It looks super cool. It looks cheesy, but it, it says it's the world's first shark PG. Shark RPG. Shark RPG. Shock a beach, shock a PG. <laughs> Whatever. Looks great. That's my daughter's. <laughs> and yeah, so this end one, you can see that's all Super Famicom box games, original boxes. I uh, wish I could display that better. That might just be temporary. I'm still want to try and find a way to display those front facing somehow. Maybe over there or something. Anyway, it's there for now. This shelf over here is just a miscellaneous. I'll go through these when we do the next set of tours properly. Miscellaneous stuff. Systems I've just got a small amount of games for. 
and those are those universal boxes I was talking about and uh, all those two, those are all universal boxes those there, all those Genesis games, those are real boxes with Mega Drive games over there and we have some more loose stuff over here yeah, all loose uh, what's this, Stormlord? yeah, Stormlord those are Japanese uh, Mega Drive games there Found a few of my Lynx games, a few that I have left. And yeah, so it's the kind of box sets up there. And a bunch of other stuff. And yeah, it's looking pretty good, I like it. I got space everywhere for everything. So so it's room to grow. And yeah, I put the Atari stuff down here. And yeah, kinda like that. There's Karateka and the 7800. There's some 360 stuff. And PS2. PS2. More PS2 over there. Lots of room to grow. That's the old pitiful PS3 collection. <laughs> and Xbox Original. Xbox Original. Xbox original and the rest of 360 stuff. As you can see, it's got lots of room there. I just put those kind of special editions just on display just to make it look cooler. And a little bit more up there as RPGs and stuff, racing games. And it's a big Bioshock. I got that at a thrift store for five bucks. It's got Bioshock 2 in there, plus the um, album on vinyl, the soundtrack album, and a whole bunch of other stuff in there. Can't believe I got that for five bucks. That's probably my best score ever at a garage sale. So that is uh, Xbox 360 Fighter Sticks. Those things are really quality. It came with the game. I think it came with the game. I may be wrong on that. <laughs> no, I don't think it came with the game. It just was the Fighter Stick. Yeah, I got that for 10 bucks at a garage sale. So you can open it up, but I'll show you that later. And Xbox One, 360. There's some special editions. Got the Hitman Trilogy. PS2, you can see there. Grand Theft Auto Trilogy, PS2. Dark Souls, Dead Alive 5. On the end is our Quest for Fame. This is actually a Japanese exclusive. I mean, this game came out on PC, but it only came out on uh, the PSX in Japan. I don't know why. It's in full English. It's just the original English PC game on the PlayStation. If you've never played this game, it features Aerosmith, and <laughs> it's super cool. You like uh, try to like start a band, and your goal is to open for Aerosmith. It's it's basically what. Um, it's one of the first kind of rhythm, uh, music rhythm games. I absolutely love this thing. I did a video on it. Uh, I'll leave a link at the end. You can check that out if you're interested. So Facebook Marketplace is turning into my local place to find furniture and I'm finding it for super cheap. I'm getting really cool stuff. See that over there? I just picked that up right now. And before we look at it, just as, this is the Nintendo section right at the end. I just don't like it it just looks a bit clunky um, so that's what this that's where this comes in so just pick this up it was really cheap it's one of those IKEA things just it's just a bit dusty I have to clean it up a little bit got some shelves so that that over there is gonna go right over there right there and it's going to clean up that whole Nintendo section because it's really been annoying me. It just looks like stuff piled on top of things. Having it in a shelf and organized just looks way better. I'm going to take out those two shelves and those shelves are going to go probably above there. And then I can put my handheld game, I mean handheld systems on display over there and some other stuff. So I think that's that's the plan and I don't usually do this kind of thing like you know, change up stuff that I'm busy doing because I just go for it and 
the stuff I have planned it always goes straight ahead but this Nintendo section just for me anyway it just looks too clunky and I think with this shelving it's gonna look way cooler now so I'm gonna get about to it and you'll see what it looks like after I'm done Okay, all the games are down. I just gotta take out these two shelves now. Now this room's become a big mess again. Uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put that, to be honest. And, oof, NES games, crazy. And here's the rest of the Nintendo stuff all over here. It's all N64, and Wii U, and massive amount of GameCube, and Super Nintendo stuff. Okay, I just got those shelves down, dismantled. And if you look over here now, see it kind of matches up now with all these other type of shelves. It looks like that, it looks pretty cool when you come down here. Yeah, and I like it. I've uh, got to fill up some holes up there, but besides that, everything is pretty cool. A lot of space up there. So I just got to grab all the games, sort them out, and put them on that shelf back there. Should look pretty cool when I'm done. I'm going to save you the agony of watching all that, and we'll just cut to the next day, and then I'll be able to show you what it looks like afterwards. And this is what it looks like now. So much neater, so much better. Only thing is, I couldn't put the Super Nintendo games there, which is fine. I think that it was too overcrowded anyway. So now I've got all those Nintendo games there. It's pretty much everything except the Super Nintendo stuff and obviously Super Famicom. Okay, so we're just going to start off in my main editing room for this episode. It's starting to become a pretty much a big mess right now because I've got so many videos on the go and I'm doing a lot of little putting a lot of little things together down here so and I've been working like 12 hour shifts so the place is looking a bit dumpy but uh, we're gonna sort it all out okay that box I'll tell you what that is now that's another piece of furniture we're gonna slap that together that's all the stuff that was in the corner there I know it's a big dumping ground that's the leftover movies of mine I got some cool posters I want to frame there's my super fuzz Terence Hill movie and that's a shelf that was taken down over there and probably going to take that one down too. So that is the magazine rack kind of thing. It's going to go over there. It's going to replace that. Hopefully it's going to fit there quite nicely. Put all my retro gamers and maybe some other stuff on there. That's all going out. As you can see this whole room is a total mess right now. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and look there's just stuff everywhere. Um, busy working on my system 3 documentary right now by the time this video comes out that would have aired long ago that's how far behind this is <laughs> that's gaming ideas for videos steal them if you want be my guest I'm still gonna make them <laughs> yeah this place is a dump we're gonna start sorting it out now Okay, so now we're going to get that box over there and start putting this thing together. Okay, so that's what it looks like when it's complete. Pretty cool. And it fits the retro gamers and general magazines really perfectly. If you look at this. How perfect is that? Perfect size. Perfect. <laughs> I guess we need to put a few more in there to keep them in. <laughs> okay, so now we've got to get this stuff out of the corner. I'm not sure where this is going to go yet. This little cabinet thing not sure 
There's all my burnt games and baby Groot and a whole lot of trash hidden under there. <laughs> like I said, this room's getting a bit messy. Let's get this out of the way and then we can put this cool thing in its place. Okay, so we got that in the corner now. And that shelf is weird. That's, uh, I'm gonna have to take that out. I'm gonna leave that one and get some more of those smaller ones and probably put one over there and one over there to finish off this wall. So we're gonna start getting the magazines and then figure out where this thing goes. And this is what it looks like roughly for now. I've got the retro gamer set up there and I've put like VHS's in here to like kind of hold it all together. You can see that. So we can turn it around. We got stuff everywhere. Copies of everything. I haven't even got enough magazines down there. Maybe I'll put some old ones down there. Let's see, like that. It's pretty cool. It, it holds my entire retro gamer collection and still has tons of space at the bottom for a whole lot of whole lot more stuff. I mean look at all the space I got down here. So this is a bit of a wider shot so you can see it a little bit better and I've got to fill those little holes up top there and then like I said I'm gonna put maybe another little shelf over there and maybe one more just over there and Put some big box PC games displayed there nicely. And yeah, it's gonna be right there. This place is looking like a dump. Hi. And look at this place. Ugh, it looks terrible. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. And that's a wrap for another episode. As you can see, things are moving along. A lot of smaller details got filled in in this episode, finally. We are nearing the end though. I would say there's probably maybe one or two more episodes of Under Construction before the big tour. That's what it looks like right now. There are still a few more things in the next episode to show you and then after that I think it may be the final reveal. So look out for that. I'm Bastish B at 64K. I hope you had a good time. If you can like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers.